Hi, my name is Jenny Clout. I am here to tell you a story from my past uh, that is kind of painful to rethink, um, but it also shows the redemptive qualities that God is constantly showing all of us in our life. And this was a turning point in my life where um, I came back to God. So as painful as it is, I'm also very thankful for the experience of it. Um, so. It was a night just like almost every night of the week at that point in my life from high school and unfortunately in college. I was going out way too much, drinking way too much, hanging out with the wrong crowd and just making really poor choices. Um, and night after night, I wasn't learning my lesson until one in particular night, I went out with four buddies of mine and we drank way, way too much. Um, and somehow got lost at the bar and I couldn't find them. And I ran into an acquaintance um, that told me my friends were up at his house. So I very naively believed him. And after drinking way too much, just went with him to his house, thinking I was going there to find my friends. And when we got to his house, um, I quickly realized it was just him and his roommate. He had lied and my friends were not there. Um, so I tried to get my phone to call my friends, um, but before I realized it, I had gotten tossed into a hot tub, and I realized at that point, I'd got myself in a situation that could get worse. Um, so I quickly grabbed my phone and locked myself in a bathroom. I called my friends and was able to give them directions to this house, and um, I heard the doorbell ring. So I ran out of the bathroom and I got to the front door um, where my friends had just arrived and one of the guys have, had grabbed me, thrown me up against the wall and punched me in the face. Um, after that, my friends jumped in and a very bad fight ensued with a lot of blood, a lot of punching. Um, it was a really horrible scene. Um, that went on for a while. We all ended up leaving and the next morning I woke up with a lot of regret, um, sorrow, uh, shame. I had a black eye um, and I was really down. I think I'd finally reached my rock bottom and realized the choices I was making in the life I was living wasn't working, it wasn't what I wanted, it wasn't where I wanted to be. Um, so that morning I decided to turn back to God. Looking back, I know that God was there the whole time. He was pursuing me the whole time, um, but I was just turning my head. I wasn't, I don't know why. I, all I knew was rules. And like I said, I, haven't, I hadn't learned the love of God yet. Um, but that morning I had opened my Bible for the first time in a long time. And I'd called my brother and we decided he went with me to go back to church. Um, it was maybe a slow process initially, um, but it was one day at a time. And with reading my Bible, going back to church, I got into a Bible study that was uh, Rick Warren's 40 Day of Purpose, which shows you how old I am. Um, so that was a really good reintroductory for me to the faith um, and just sermon every Sunday that I had just quit going to church at that time in my life. Um, at the same time, some of the, um, <laughs> the riffraff of people I was hanging out with, one of those people was Scott Clout. And he happened to be one of the guys that came to get me that night at the house. And he helped me and he saved me that night. Um, and coincidentally, but not a coincidence at all, he was living in Dickinson, North Dakota and going through his own journey of walking back to the faith. Um, so as friends at that point, we both started encouraging each other in the faith to read our Bibles, to walk away from some old friendships uh, that were bad influences at the time that I just wasn't strong enough to make wiser choices. And it was really nice to have a friend um, walk along that same journey, at the same path, um, and be encouraging in that. Every day I find myself almost shocked um, that God would choose to use me in ministry. Um, <laughs> I 
I made a lot of poor decisions here in Missoula, Montana. Um, the God that redeems has, for some crazy reasons, <laughs> chose to allow me to be married to a pastor. It allowed me to go alongside him as a pastor with Sutown and minister to the city where I made these poor choices. Um, but because of that, it allows me to show so much grace because so much grace has been shown to me. Um, I still am a mess up. <laughs> I made wise, wiser choices. Um, but as a mom and a wife and a friend, I've just learned to show love and grace because God never stopped showing that to me. Thank you.